Hey everyone, welcome back to the Aerial Media Pros channel. As you can see today, we are working with the DJI Matrice 600 platform, which is clearly DJI's largest system to date. And after working a couple months with customers building it and uh, answering some of our clients' questions, we wanted to put together a quick video and tell you all that you need to know before purchasing a Matrice 600 kit. So what really stands out about the Matrice 600 is really the ultimate blend of all of DJI's best technologies. So let's go over some of the features that really make the Matrice 600 unique, and then we'll go into what's included in the package. And I think you'll have a pretty good idea at the end of this video what to expect um, with this platform and why it's really gonna become the new standard for commercial and industrial applications. So first thing I'll point out here is this is a six rotor setup. And so you actually get the redundancy and safety of a six rotor system. And what that essentially means is that if you were to lose a prop, a motor, or an ESC during flight, the copter would still be able to fly on five of the six motors. So that's a really great feature that they've included in the A3 flight controller. And they've used the same type of thinking of redundancy in terms of the batteries. The Matrice 600 runs on six separate batteries, so you know that if one of them turns out to be unhealthy during flight, you know that it's still going to fly on the rest of the batteries that are in place. And it's not really meant to fly on less than six, so it's really designed to fly with six um, all at the copter at the same time. Next we'll go into one of my favorite pieces, which is the gimbals that the Matrice 600 can support. I'll go ahead and lift this up so you can see. Right now we have the Ronin MX installed and the MX was designed around this 600 platform to be able to hold any kind of camera in the air. Anything really up to eight or nine pounds in terms of camera size, you can hold on this system. So you can see here it integrates really well. You have a battery separate to be able to add extra uh, battery flow and power to the camera itself. So you have a battery powering the Ronin as well as the camera so you're not wasting that uh, power all in one sitting. But this is just one of the many gimbals that can fit on the Matrice. It also has the support for the Z15 series from DJI. And these are specific to a certain camera right now we have, this is the A7 gimbal. I will note that with the A7, it's really built for the A7, A7S and A7R camera. Um, we've tried to put an A7R2 on there, but it takes a lot of customization before that is actually working correctly. So just note that if you're gonna go with the Z15 A7, make sure you have an A7S or A7R to work right out of the box. So that's what this looks like. These Z15 gimbals are built specifically for a certain camera and a certain lens. So you're not able to really change or else it offsets the balance and you're gonna uh, burn up your motors that way on the gimbal. So let's just jump over to the case here. And this is the Aerial Media Pro's custom protector case for the Matrice 600, specifically designed for the 600 and accessories. We don't have a ton of time in this video to cover all the details, but for more information and video content, you can go to our website here and the link will show you more information also about discounts when you bundle the case together with a Matrice 600 kit. But we're still talking about gimbals, so let's talk about the DJI Zenmuse X series. The Matrice 600 is also compatible with the Zenmuse X series, which is made up of the X3, which was found on the original Inspire 1, the X5 and X5R, which are the Inspire 1 Pro and RAW versions, as well as thermal camera imaging with the XT and XTR, which is advanced radiometry version. And then last but not least, the Z3, which is a seven times zoom camera um, that they just announced recently, all compatible with the Matrice 600 as long as you add the mounting bracket that's designed for that system. So you do have to purchase that separately with your kit to be able to make those cameras work with this. It's really easy, just a plug and play setup, goes right on the mount here. So this is the X5R. The X5R, you can see size-wise, it actually allows for a lot longer flight times because of its weight um, compared to something like this. If you were to put a GH4 from Panasonic or an A7 on this gimbal, um, the weight difference is, is quite substantial. And so you're actually able to get a lot longer flight times out of a system like this while still getting 16 megapixel photos as well as raw 4K footage. So like I said, in a lot of ways, this actually makes sense for most uses. So I'll go ahead and just put this back in the case here. 
And like I said, th those flight times that will be longer, they'll be around uh, 30 to 40 minutes with a system like this. With this, it's gonna be somewhere between 10 to 20. So um, you're looking at a significant increase in flight time with these smaller camera systems. And the smaller they are, the lighter they are, the longer you're gonna be able to be in the air. So now I'm just gonna go through what comes in the original kit and go ahead and open the case here. Obviously the case doesn't come with it, that's an extra add-on, but let's take a look at what comes in the kit so you have a good idea of what to expect and what accessories you might need to add on to your kit to make it uh, really usable out in the field. So here we have six batteries, that's one set as we said earlier. So one set of batteries comes in the kit, you have one radio controller, and this is a Lightbridge 2 controller with the SDI output. You have two charging hubs. These are quad charging hubs, and they're going to be charging up to four batteries um, in sequence. So you're not going to be able to get uh, them charging all at the same time. Um, you would, it would be something where you're leaving it overnight, letting them charge. And uh, that also comes with, with those two quad charging hubs. You have, obviously, your chargers here. So these come with it. So realistically, out of the box you can charge up to eight batteries, but that's just because they're quad charging hubs, but it really runs on six. So um, next thing, we'll just open this up here before we go into anything else. And out of the box, the Matrice 600 will come as a kit, so you do need to build it. It takes a couple hours. Um, maybe even more than a couple hours if it's your first time. Um, but this is essentially the way it looks when it's completely built. So you have no camera gimbal, a set of batteries, the camera con uh, the controller, um, as well as GPS, everything you need in terms of flight control, it's ready to fly. So this will fly out of the box with everything included that I just explained. But like I said, you need to choose your camera gimbal system and what you're gonna be using for uh, this. So now we'll cover added accessories. And the case will, will hold all of the accessories that I mentioned. You have, of course, an extra radio transmitter. So you need to make sure you're using the Lightbridge 2 system. This is a Lightbridge 2 that will connect directly to for that uh, dual operator control. So if you need someone else controlling the camera, in most cases, someone else controlling the camera while the other person is the pilot of the aircraft. So that's that. You also have follow focus system. So this will integrate with the X5 and X5R, um, as well as if you wanted to get a full complete system that goes with a red camera or larger Sony type cameras, you'll be able to use a follow focus system that integrates with everything. So obviously, the batteries for the Ronin MX. So if you're getting this together as a kit, it's cheaper together if you get the Ronin MX with the Matri 600. Same thing with the Z15 uh, gimbals. Those will be cheaper kits when purchased together than if you were to buy those separately. The Ronin MX comes with two batteries. So, so that's really it in terms of what comes in the box, what you might need. The only thing that we would suggest is extra batteries at this point. So you're looking at a higher price point because there is six batteries, but really what you're getting in safety and redundancy is well worth it. Um, we've also designed a battery case that's built just for batteries because if you were to put all those sets of batteries in this case, it most likely would be too heavy. So we created this roller case to be able to fit extra sets of batteries for the Matrice 600. It also would work with the Matrice 100 as well. So let's get back to some of the questions that we see from customers and on the forums about the A3 flight controller and what differentiates that system from the A3 Pro as well as the RTK. So the A3 comes stock with this system. The Matrice out of the box has an A3 flight controller as well as the A3 GPS system. The only difference between that and the A3 Pro is redundancy and safety. It's not going to be increasing your accuracy at any point. It might increase the availability of reaching that certain accuracy that it has, um, but this is still using the same system. So between the A3 and A3 Pro, it's really about safety and redundancy. If you were to lose a GPS, you have the 
added benefit of knowing that you are safe in the air and it's not going to lose GPS. And for a lot of professionals, that's going to be a game changer out in the field. Now let's talk about the RTK for a second. The RTK is a system that works alongside the A3 controller here and actually will increase the level of accuracy um, on, upon which you can direct the aircraft in the air to certain GPS coordinates and know that the data that you're getting from the camera is really accurate according to the GPS coordinates that it's getting from the device. So RTK is more accuracy. A3, A3 Pro really means that you're just adding redundancy. So online you'll see it under the name A3 Pro Upgrade Kit. Um, so you can go ahead and purchase that and just add that to your kit in that way. And as I said before, it's really important that these GPS systems are accurate, especially for use with third-party applications and other softwares that are using it to do automated flight missions. For example, drone deploy for mapping, or whether you're going to be using the new ground station app that they'll be re-releasing specifically for the Matrice 600. This uses the same systems that you would see with the Phantom 3, Phantom 4, Inspire, in terms of connecting through your, uh, through your tablet or application um, to the network to be able to do really great stuff. Not to mention the fact that this is also a full production cinematography rig. With the addition of the Ronin MX, you now have the ability to carry much heavier payloads for a lot longer period of time than ever before seen with a system like this. So there's so many reasons why we love the Matrice 600. In the field, we've tested it and it flies so smooth. The camera movements are really smooth. It almost, the airframe itself almost flies like a Phantom. So we're really impressed with the ability that it has to have such simple and easy to use technology on such what seems like such a complicated large platform. But whether you're industrial, commercial, or you're doing aerial cinematography on set, this seems to be really the right tool for the job. So if you want any more information, feel free to call us or head to our website, aerialmediapros.com, and we have all the information on packages and deals that you can get with the Matrice 600. Thanks so much for watching, and fly safe.